least, gosh, I, I hope not. All right, we need to get back onto our flight path. Let's see, if I, and I turn. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome to Earth Analog. So the game Earth Analog is actually, okay, here it is. It was uh, given to me by Funcraft Games um, it, it to, you know, to let me, uh, let me explore the game. Sadly, and this is the part that kind of, you know, is what it is. I got the, I got access to the game, like, right in the middle of um, moving. And so... Not, um, that's what I was gonna say, <laughs> Ancient, Ancient Steel Dragon, that's what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but so we didn't get a chance to preview it beforehand, which is really, it's really, you know, sad. But it is, it is what it is, and, uh, we're here now. But I appreciate the opportunity, nonetheless. We're gonna start a new game. I, this is, uh, let's see, easy. Your ship has an additional shield. And, well, you know, as soon as I see how the game is meant to be played, that's sort of what the blue flame is, is we're trying to play the games the way the developers intended, very specifically. So we're going to play normal. Take the tutorial. Um, if you offer me a tutorial, I'm going to play it. I think the best tutorials are ones that are woven into the game. They sort of happen on their own, and they're in the background. You're not really... But we'll see. I'm sure... 2093, humanity has depleted all of Earth's resources. Large parts of the planet have become uninhabitable. Well, you know, it had to end sometime. Under the Yorisco program, the United Nations sent out 10 reconnaissance ships to find a new Earth. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty small font. That's okay, I'm happy to narrate. 2115, none of the ships reported success except for one, the Yorisco 4 at 2011 p.m. on the 24th of March 2115, while orbiting Proxima Centauri B, they transmitted back that we found it. However, nothing has been heard from it since. Uh, 2135, low on resources, a desperate UN made one final attempt on the 11th of October 2135. It launched the Orisco 11. I'm guessing to go after them. It's a mission to travel to Proxima Centauri B, uh, Bravo, to find out what happened to the Eurisco 4, and then most importantly, find the, I'm guessing, Earth Analog. Yes, exactly. The planet that is like Earth. Okay, wonderful. I'm ready to do this. Space exploration, kind of my jam. I uh, really, really appreciate having... Oh, my. Uh, day one, orbiting Proxima Centauri B, three light years from Earth. What's initiated? Um. Um. Questions, questions. Who has... Qu oh. Systems ready. Okay. Um, goodness, um, I think we'll just resume then. Yeah, well, I mean, I can't, uh, I can't necessarily control the way, you know, if there was like a scale for the GUI, but it's, I mean, it's early access. I'm not concerned about it. I just need to uh, see. Protocol dictates I start with the ship systems diagnostics. Check. Press W twice to throttle up to 20%. Or once. Oh no, it's just very touchy. In space, inertia makes it difficult to maneuver the ship. The flight path indicator helps you see. Throttle down to 10%. Okay, that works. Retro thrusters. Press and hold space to fire the retro thrusters. Now let's check the roll thrusters. D to roll clockwise. Oof, that was a bit much. A to roll counterclockwise. Ugh. Okay, maybe a little slower. Fly through the gates. Use the flight path indicator and retro thrusters. Okay. Um, so we're up to 100%. Really? 
Retro thrusters are like, yeah, like your your reverse, your brake, or whatever. But I don't think, I don't necessarily know if we're gonna need them unless we have problems. Oh no, I see. They take a sharp turn. Oh, I see them. So these first few are pretty easy. We're at a hundred percent. Okay, it's fairly simple, <laughs> kind of low stakes, but it's, I feel like doing a system diagnostic when we're in front of an actual, you know, Earth-like planet, it's frightening. It's frightening to think about. Well, this is, yep, this is how we do it. There's got to be more to the speed, or maybe they just want to make darn sure that I don't, I don't get going too fast. Thrusters 100%. Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, look, it's. Oh, I see what they're talking about with the inertia, because, and it's. Yeah, so that's showing us where we're traveling, and like if I pull the nose like that, okay, hold on, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, see how it drifts, it takes some time. Is there a third person? Oh, you know what, let's look and see if there's a... Yep, let's check that out. Oh, okay, um, yikes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a good idea because I'm just coming in full speed, but... Oh, there's something on my HUD. I mean, beyond the planet and everything. Oh, I think that's showing me, like, the final... The final spot. No, okay, so look, they're gonna they're gonna change our approach angle here. Oh, they give us plenty of time. Oh, look at the terrain on the horizon. I don't wanna is there a way to Okay, if I go perspective again, can I look over Yeah, you can see some of the terrain over here. Or is that like coastline? That might be coastline. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. <laughs> Easy. Just take just take your hands off the wheel and look out the window. <laughs> Don't look with your hands on the wheel. That's not no, come on. Okay, no, look, there's an arrow on my HUD. I want to kind of point at it and see what's over there. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get the nose in the corrected position. So they're gonna they're gonna level us out. An exploration ship from No Man's Sky. It kind of does. Oh, look at the look at the terrain. You can see it on this one a lot better. There's like some kind of valleys and stuff. Let's just take a look. Throttle up, down, reverse, steer, roll, brake, retro, boost is Q. No dark energy. Well, that would be why they didn't teach it to me yet, I suppose. Dark energy. Okay, so now we can just pull the nose up here. What is that arrow trying to point me at, though, I wonder? Mm hmm And now we're like, ah, eh, we're actually pretty far from the place still. We're not really in the orbit of the... Or we're in orbit, probably, but we're not, like, in the atmosphere, so we're not air braking by any capacity. We probably should be.
I can't imagine why you would have the throttle at anything less than 100, though. Can you imagine? You're like, I would like to keep the throttle low. <laughs> Does it have a slow setting? All right. Says, oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. We got to bring the throttle down. My, okay, my approach got, with the main thrusters in full thrust mode, we'll get there a lot faster. Okay, ah, uh, here we go, here we go. We got to follow this corridor. Oh, we're like drifting out of it. Pull the nose down. Oh, we got a little bit shifted there, a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. With the main thrusters in full thrust mode, we'll get there a lot faster. Oh, full thrust mode. Oh, shoot. Whoa, follow the path entering the planet's atmosphere. Notice how flight dynamics change once the ship ship enters atmosphere due to drag. Whoa, 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 stop. Stop. Oh, this is not good. I'm not following my path at all. Uh, reverse retro thrusters. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, so we're entering the atmosphere. I'm not on my path at all. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, my mouse is not doing that. Oh. Oh, it is? At least, gosh, I, I hope not. All right, we need to get back onto our flight path. Let's see, if I, and then I turn it off. Yeah, 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 just to get the nose over here in the proper direction. We're kind of descending a little bit here with the ocean. Right. All right. And then we'll pull up. As long as we don't go into the ocean, I think we'll be fine. Here we go. We found our trajectory now. Now we're cooking. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the speed kind of gets easier to manage. Oh, my goodness. Found dark energy. It seems to be present near the ocean surface. Fly near the ocean surface. Um... Oof. I don't want to fly, like, into the ocean, right? Yeah, I was going to say, impact alert. Oof. Okay. Ship's booster is 50% charged. Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on. Throttle down. My next task is to find fresh water. Press F3 to bring up the scanner screen. Uh, the ship is equipped with a scanner that scans for subterranean resources in forward direction. Currently, it's set to scan for fresh water is indicated at the top of the screen. Um, right. Fly to an altitude of around 5,000 meters. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. And point slightly down at some terrain and press enter to do a scan. Traces of fresh water found. Fly low over terrain that lit up during the scan. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fly low. Okay, this is a good spot. Let's land here. Disable full thrust mode. Lower thrust throttle to 10%. Okay, yep. Throttle 10%. Use the retro thrusters to brake using space. Gently land the ship. C to anchor to the terrain surface. Okay. It said use 10%, but I'm thinking it means more than that because... Yeah, we're still a little bit away. Maybe. Retro thrusters to brake using space. Gently land the ship. Ah, it should be fine. <laughs> We're just going to head straight down. Oh, not throttle 10%. Or not 20%, 10%. Okay, we're only 36. There we go, there we go. Perfect. 
Oof. Anchoring. The ship's drill is broken. Press F2 to select the systems page. Next, select the drill using the numpad arrow keys. Yeah, sure. Press any key. Oh, haha! <laughs> well, that's not what we wanted to do. I think we dismantled something important. Press key when the needle's in the colored area. Oh my goodness! See, that's where that, that's where that, uh, that small font is gonna get us. Oh, eighty-seven percent repaired. I'll take that. The roll thruster. That's what we did. Goodness. 33% repaired. Well. Is this probe? Um, Probe has not survived the journey from Earth. A small object pierced its flight computer way beyond my repair ability. Um, okay. Drill. Uh, maybe. Drill to a hundred meters. Um, okay. Target depth reached. Uh, really? Uh, oh, okay. Well, then it was you know we you know we needed the drill a little bit. Really, we just needed a shovel. <laughs> Great, I managed to extract some water. Behold, there's an interesting uh, bycatch—a kind of opal. I'll keep rare objects like artifacts and stones on my ship. Target depth reached. Found H2O. Got scientific data from the soil. Found an opal. The water in the stone creates a fascinating play of light. The last task of the flight dynamics test is to land on the moon. See to take off and fly to so we're not to come in too fast. Okay. Alright, so then we just kind of take off, right? Right, okay, yeah. Inertia is really a thing. B con and this one is Ixo, I'm guessing, right? Over here by the star, that's the star. No, that's that one, right? Okay, all right, I'm getting oriented. So we saw the moon kind of over the horizon, right? It's over there. It said not to come in too fast, okay. Yeah, I'll try very hard not to have any accidents, but make very few promises. Alright, maybe we get out of the atmosphere here. Because we're not going to have the atmosphere to slow us down. I think that's what they wanted us to understand about going to the moon. There's like a polar cap on it? Is that... We should go there. Can I not... Can I not boost? They're like, no, you are not allowed to boost to the moon. <laughs> we said don't come in too fast. I'm like, yeah, but... Maybe I want to boost. The moon definitely has something going on with like its its pole. I don't see anything of interest other than that, so I'm tempted to just go there. I'm 
Okay, speed's picking up as we're breaking out of the last remnants of the atmosphere. <clears throat> it's a pretty neat game. Okay. Uh, so, I think... Yeah, we're moving away now at a pretty good clip. Oh yeah, speed's coming in much, much faster now. We probably need to throttle down a little bit. Go to 20% maybe. Uh, no, retro thrusters. Right, so we only have retro thrusters. There's no atmospheric braking here. Of course not. But I want to head to this. This is the only like s seeming landmark on this moon. I guess we could land in a crater. Ideally, we'd land on the border. Do I want to land on that? Maybe I would rather land on something I can see clearly than the polar region. Okay, we're still coming in pretty quick, but we're still kind of Okay, so we've reset our trajectory with full retro thrusters. So we're no longer going to the... I, I guess it's a bunch of snow and ice, right? Oof. Yeah, we're coming, we're coming in. Right, so if we accelerate, right, let's let's try to land using the vertical and lateral thrusters this time. Fly straight and press Z to toggle on the alternative controls. Okay. Now shift system has broken down. Oh no. Touch gently and anchor to complete the systems check. Ugh, what is happening? Okay. We just happen to have a system break right at the same time. There, just reset the alarm. Okay, we're we're mounted. An anchored? Okay, please anchor. Oof. Alright, now hold on. Two. Yeah, it was this one. It was because... Ugh, right? It was because I broke it, and I shouldn't have... Ooh! 89% repaired. No, 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 no. Not, not a drilling report. We didn't scan for anything. Scan. Iron artifacts. Surface. 10% mapped. Okay. Interesting. So we can map things. The drill, I kind of understand, but I don't know how to set the depth. Objects. Asteroid gem. Okay, well, let's continue then. So, oof. Oof. Hold on, let's turn off full thrust mode. We just kind of shot off this thing like a rocket. Goodness. Um, so now what? That's the end of the flight diagnostics? <laughs> right, but... Whew. We're just adrift in space now. Escape velocity of the moon was kind of a piece of cake. Let's see. I'm looking for the other thing that was marked. We had, it was like Beacon or whatever. Maybe that's where we need to go report. 
Earth. That's Earth? Why would it... Wait, why would it tell me that? The probe was destroyed. You know what? Let's okay. So let's let's work on some scans. I think maybe that's that's what we need to do. Surface. Yeah, we can just. We can fly right over here. So the scan happens to the surface anyways. Well, maybe reverse thrusters. Oof. It says we have to be up to like 5,000. Right? Isn't that what it said? All right, just start scanning. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, this thing is obviously saying water everywhere. Water everywhere. What about iron? Everywhere. Artifacts? Um, I think we're a little low now. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's see. It, it keeps showing me like there's something there and then it takes it away. Hello. I guess we should have stayed landed. Okay, so let's re-land. No, 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 not full thrust. Yep. And... Boodoo. Okay, you got it. Very close. We're right there, pretty much. Anchored! Okay, so now let's do some drilling. Alright, we'll go here. Um, there's got to be a way. Let's see. Controls. Computer dashboard. Right, right, right. Drilling. Map. Tasks. Quest. Okay, that's good, so... Computer objects. Oh, plus, plus, minus. That makes sense. Okay. So, plus, plus. It didn't say necessarily how deep to go, so we'll just go 300, I guess. All in one piece, yep. Number plus, minus. Speed. Let's go 150. Press a key when the drill is inside a green layer. And that's where we're going to wrap things up for this time. Until next time, take care.